The Panasonic S1 and S1R are equipped with a touchscreen, and they can be customized. Let's go ahead and go into the camera's menu and see what we can do to customize them. For the camera's menu, go to the cog, also known as a gear. We're going to select the top dial setting, and from here you'll see touch settings. Once in touch settings, you can either turn the touch screen completely on or off. Touch tab is a menu function, so when we turn this on, you get additional menus in the touch screen. Function keys, control keys, and controls for your Instagram style filter settings. By default, touch tab is off. The touch autofocus, you can either have it just do autofocus, or you can have the exposure follow the autofocus box. Or if you don't want to use the touch screen for autofocus, you can simply turn it off. Now finally, there's touchpad AF. Now Panasonic, we're sure you're going to fall in love with using a touch screen for your autofocus, but what happens when you want to use the viewfinder to control autofocus? Let's talk about the touchpad AF function, which means that when you use the viewfinder, it would be nice to be able to use the touch screen while looking through the viewfinder of the camera. And that's what touchpad AF allows us to do. So when we select touchpad AF, you have two options. One option is called exact. And what that means is that wherever I touch the screen, it's going to put the box exactly where I touch it. You also have touchpad AF offset. And in this mode, it's going to behave more like a computer mouse where I can shift it across by lifting my hand up and down as I move it. And those are the touch settings of the S1 and S1R.